Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at some sunglasses. Now, Matt, why are you looking at sunglasses on a tech channel? I will tell you why. These are freaking cool as hell. So these guys actually have bone conducting speakers inside of the arm. So when you fold them out and put them on, it conducts sound through your bone into your head. This is pretty cool because like it leaves your ears completely free. When you're walking around, you're out and about, you can still hear everything completely normal from your ears. So you won't have a problem when driving. You can still hear cars coming and people honking the horn at you, people shouting abuse at you. You can still hear people outside walking. You can still hear dogs that they're about to attack you. You can still hear most of that regular stuff on a daily basis um, with these sunglasses. So there is two pairs. The first one I was just wearing there is the Viper. These are called the Lynx. Um, these ones do have like a blue purpley lens. That one's got like a more of an, a sunset orange, um, but they do have interchangeable lenses. You can buy more lenses online and switch them out. It's pretty easy to be honest. Now in terms of frames, these are slightly different. These are a little bit more rounded than the other ones. And personally, I just prefer these a little bit more. They're just a little bit more my style, um, but they both sound and feel roughly about the same. In terms of pricing, they are around about $130, a little bit cheaper for the Vipers, around 130 pounds as well. So it balances out there, um, but they're a similar price point. In terms of like colors of the actual sunglasses, you can pick these up in white, gray, or black on the website. So link will be down below. Um, but personally, I'm quite enjoying them. I've been using them for a couple of weeks now and they're really, really good. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not perfect. There is flaws, but they are very, very good. Like in terms of the overall sound, it's not as bassy or as rich as say a pair of headphones, but then you have to remember, it's not a pair of headphones, it's a pair of sunglasses. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about these. Now, first thing I just wanna talk about is battery life, because obviously you're gonna be listening to these, you wanna know how long you can listen to them for. On the packet, it says four hours battery life. I've used it and I've gotten a little bit better than four hours. So I guess it depends on the volume and all that good stuff, whether you're answering calls, whether you're changing the buttons and whether the light is on the side. So, I mean, personally, I got a little bit more than that. I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I think that's pretty decent for a pair of sunglasses. These are minimal as hell. There's no bulk. They feel like a regular pair of sunglasses. In terms of weight, they weigh 0.1 of a pound. So that's extremely light. These are lighter than some regular sunglasses I own, um, which is pretty insane actually. But yeah, in terms of turning them on, there's buttons located here, power buttons. Simply hold that down, it powers on, pairs to your phone, it comes up like zongle glasses. There is a button for Google Assistant and one for play pause as well. And there's also a volume rocker on one side. The other side has a skip track. So for your previous or next track, so all your controls are hidden pretty well. Um, and also they're pretty easy to access because they're at the bottom here. So you can you can kind of feel the buttons, but they can be a little bit tricky, especially the volume because they tend to be inside a little bit more, um, but you just grip it like about there in order to change the volume. And these are both kind of independent. So there's no wire going through the, the frame here. It's just two independent devices that wirelessly connect together. Um, so it kind of works the same as like wireless earbuds. In uh, terms of interference, I haven't had any interference. I actually went quite far away. I went all the way outside, downstairs, and it was still connected. So connection's pretty good on these. Uh, worked with the S10 Plus pretty well. So better than my earphones, better than any earphone I own. So yeah, connection's good. If you want to look like a secret agent, you want people to think that you're slightly crazy, you know what I'm talking about. You can answer calls on your pair of sunglasses. We got to that point. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It can be useful if your hands are fully walking around, you can answer on your sunglasses. I have a smartwatch, so I tend to answer on there, but it is speakerphone. So if you wanna be a little bit more discreet, you can answer on your sunglasses. Now in terms of the soundproofing of the sunglasses, it's not the best in the world. I thought maybe the other people wouldn't be able to hear what I'm listening to. My roommates told me that that's not the case. They can hear all the crazy music I'm listening to. A little bit unfortunate for them, but it's not terrible. In terms of the actual like bleeding of audio, in terms of like other people around you, say like on the bus, it's kind of like if you had your volume on your phone speaker set to like two. 
I, I would say that. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Maybe not even as bad as some over-ear headphones, but they're really discreet. You have to remember that. So even if people can hear it a tiny bit, they're not going to know where it's coming from because you're wearing a pair of sunglasses. They're not going to suspect that you got bone conducting speakers in these. In terms of how these charge, pretty old fashioned, looks like kind of like a stethoscope or something, um, but it's two wires. They connect onto the back of the arms that go over your ears. And then there's a USB, which simply just goes into a computer or a USB plug and you're good to go. They take around two hours to charge. They last around four hours, like I said earlier. And I mean, yeah, I mean, they're pretty good. In terms of if you want something to listen to music on, you don't mind it not being as rich and as isolated as a pair of headphones, but yet you also want the practicality of having your ears free. You wanna hear your surroundings. You wanna block out the sun because you know, maybe it's bright, maybe it's in your eyes, maybe you're at the beach. These are perfect without doubt. And I've never tried a pair of sunglasses that's so minimal. I wouldn't even tell these were special in any way other than the fact that I know they are from my own experience. If I saw someone wearing these, say two weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I wouldn't even know, but now I do. Now, hold on, hold on. One thing I just want to point out. Really? This is the case they come with? As my roommate Alex said, it looks like an egg box. But yeah, basically the point is, this is just not gonna last in terms of anything like wear and tear, waterproof, this is literally useless. So if you wanna protect these, I would recommend you buy a case to put these in. You already own a case maybe for your own sunglasses so you can put these in, or I recommend that you just put them over your neck. That's what I tend to do. So in terms of like folding, they don't fold all the way. So they tend to go to that point and then don't fold. So I just tend to hook that over my shirt. Tends to be okay. I've never lost them, so. Seems to be working fine for me. But yeah, in terms of like connection, really good. I've been really far away and it hasn't disconnected. The music quality is good. The volume could be a little bit louder. It could be louder. Um, but again, the, the whole discreetness, I get it, I get it. You don't wanna make it overly loud. You don't want other people to be able to hear it too much, um, but you wanna be able to hear it yourself. So they have that good balance with these. Um, I can't really fault them other than the fact that they maybe don't isolate the sound as well as I'd like them to. Um, but yeah, I can hear them great, but other people can slightly hear them as well. That's, that's just the tiny catch that I have, but again, it's not too loud. So if you're in like a crowded place, chances are somebody's not going to be able to hear it unless they're standing right next to you. If you're at the beach, nobody is going to be hearing that music. If you're on the bus, depends how quiet the bus is, but. I don't think anyone would hear it. But yeah, these are really good sunglasses. In terms of the filters, they're really great. They have this polarizing filter in them. Excellent, blocks out the sun, great. Tends to be darker towards the top a little bit more. Um, in terms of glare, it's really good. There's no glare. Um, I can see completely perfect. They clean really easily. All the standard things you have with a pair of sunglasses. Only thing is they don't come with a microfiber cloth to clean them. Just thought that was a standard thing that comes with sunglasses, um, but yeah. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it. That is my review, my showing off of these insanely cool Bluetooth bone conducting sunglasses. Um, so yeah, I would definitely pick these up. They're just really, really cool. I mean, if you're a tech fan, like you're super techy, just pick these up. You'll love them. Link will be down below. Thank you for watching. Peace out, guys. Have a wicked day. I'll see you later. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in.